Is it possible that something as tiny as this could be illegal? Well, simply put, yes, it could. But this one isn't, because this one is immediately foldable at all times. This is a Gerber folding pocket knife tool, utility tool, because it opens up into pliers and scissors and all sorts of other things. But this is not a sponsored video, but you'll find an affiliate link for that in the description below. But what is the significance of something being immediately foldable at all times and one that isn't? Well, simply put, if it is not immediately foldable at all times, then it is not an exempt folding pocket knife for the purposes of Section 139 of the Criminal Justice Act 1988. Meaning, it is a fixed blade. Even if it's this small, it's no different than your kitchen knife, because it would be a fixed blade if it were not immediately foldable. Now, you need to have a good reason to be in a public place with any kind of blade that is not an exempt folding pocket knife, such as this one. Now, that doesn't mean to say you can carry it anywhere you like, do anything you want with it. You know, you can't take it into schools, you can't go into airports, you can't go into courtrooms and things like that. Unless, of course, it is exempt for one of a number of reasons. For example, it is carried for religious reasons. But that's not what I'm talking about in this video. So many people ask the question whether you've got one this size or whether, you, whether you've got something that is larger, like a traditional Swiss utility knife. If the knife is immediately foldable and is no more than three inches, then it will come within the exemption of a folding pocket knife. However, if the knife locks or requires any kind of button or any kind of spring mechanism or there's any other kind of locking mechanism that locks the blade into an open position, that means it is going to be a fixed blade. Now, there's also some other restrictions such as flick knives which are banned and these sort of things. So I've talked about those in other videos, but specifically about the folding pocket knife aspect. If it is a utility knife, it needs to be immediately foldable. Now there's also a lot of discussion as to which bit of the blade is sharp for the purposes of this exemption. So for argument's sake, if you had something that was five or six inches long and only the very last inch or two was sharp, it is still a five or six inch blade for the purposes of the legislation. Many people think that it is only the cutting edge, as in they think it's the sharp bit that counts, and that's not true. The cutting edge is the entirety of the length, which is the cutting edge. And even that is very slightly misleading because case law has decided that even a butter knife, which doesn't have a sharp edge at all, it is a rounded edge really, but even a butter knife has been held to be a blade for the purposes of the legislation. Now also, if you were carrying something around for the purposes of causing harm to another person, then it doesn't matter whether it was a folding pocket knife exemption or not. You will still find yourself arrested for possession of that blade. Likewise, whether you like this or not, if you are out late, say two, three o'clock in the morning, let's say you're found with a slightly larger folding pocket knife, such as this one here, and it's two or three o'clock in the morning, then you are going to find yourself arrested with that because you're going to be somehow suspected of some kind of offense, most probably, because why else would you have a blade with you? This is coming directly from police officers, so don't shoot the messenger. Those police officers, if they are patrolling and they see someone in any way suspicious that has something like this with them at two or three in the morning, you are going to get arrested and you are going to be taken to the station, potentially on a number of different offenses. So folding pocket knife or not, there still warrants a lot of caution here. So there is a precautionary warning to you. Um, a lot of you, especially internationally, might think these laws are a little bit silly, but uh, the laws are there for a reason. They are there for safety reasons. Now, whilst I have um, several of these, I've bought them mainly to explain the law to you here. I don't carry them around unless there's you know a very good reason, but I typically wouldn't have a good reason. Don't confuse this with good reason for having a blade in a public place. If you have a folding pocket knife which is exempt, then you don't need a good reason. But that doesn't necessarily mean you won't be suspected of having it with the purposes of causing harm and so on. So take that as a bit of a warning, but um, I'll put the links for this in the description below. Parliament has said that it is not the intention to restrict the carrying of a tool and these are deemed to be tools. So 
you're not restricted from carrying it as a tool and if you're going camping or climbing or anything else and you have a knife with you and that can be a good reason then that's usually perfectly fine but remember it has to be a good reason not an excuse so not for example you went camping on the weekend and you forgot you had it with you that's an excuse not a good reason and your good reason will be thoroughly tested if ever you are charged with an offense so i hope that's answered questions about utility knives and folding pocket knives there's bound to be many more. Leave them in the comment section below. I thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.